Hello, I'm Remy Harris. I'm a business consultant and author of the book Easy Money, the Definitive UK Guide to Funding Music Projects. So I've made a series of videos to tell you what's in each chapter of the book and to also give you a few quick funding tips. Now, chapter three is the first one I'm going to focus on in this series and it's on grants that are available for music. First of all, a quick summary of what a grant is. A grant is basically money that you don't have to repay. It's brilliant, right? So although you don't have to repay it, the fund that's been set up has normally been made or created with some objectives in mind. So there is always a reason why you're being given a grant and there is something that the grant funder expects in return, although they don't necessarily need their, their money back at the end of what you're working on. So more about that in a minute. The typical places to get a grant that you may have heard of are the Arts Council or PRS for Music Foundation, but there are loads of other places. There are at least 40 other grant funding bodies that fund music that are listed in the guide, and I go into those talking about what they fund, what they don't fund, and how to contact them and how to apply. So that's a fantastic resource that's at the end of that chapter. Now, the thing that most people don't realise about grants is that over 30% of grant applications are rejected purely because they are not eligible. So that's a massive waste, if you think about it, of the time and energy of people applying for grants, that's you guys, and the funder's time in coping with all of that and weeding out the ineligible applications. And one of the things I talk a lot about in the chapter is how to make sure that you're eligible for the funds that you're applying for and make sure you're not in that 30% that goes straight in the bin. In the book, I highlight some case studies of people that successfully applied for grants. So I figure that's quite a useful place to start. And I also talk to quite a few grant funders about what happens when they process the applications, what they look for and their tips. Um, so hopefully that will be really useful to you. The number one tip that I give people that I got from um, writing the book is to make sure that you're telling the funder how you meet the aims of their fund. So do you remember at the beginning I said whilst the grant funding is free, um, there's always a reason why somebody wants to give you the money. There's always some aims and objectives from when the fund was set up and there's something that they want to happen, see happen or transform as a result of their funding that they give to you. So, for example, if you look at the uh, RVW Trust, they fund assist, primarily assistance to British composers who haven't yet achieved a broad national or international reputation. So they're not going to fund your rock band to go on tour, or they're not going to fu fund your jazz group. Um, they fund, I would say, mainly British contemporary classical music from the 20th and 21st century and it's very clear that that's what they fund in their terms and conditions but still I bet they do get applications which are, are not eligible um, for the terms and conditions of their fund when it was set up. So that's my number one tip but there is other money out there and it's all about funding, finding the right funder who has the right aims and objectives. If you focus on that to start off with and make sure that you're telling them clearly how you can meet their objectives brilliantly you'll be off to a really great start. So that's my number one tip and my overview of the grants chapter of Easy Money, the definitive UK guide to funding music projects. Um, I hope you get a copy because I think it'll save you time and make your funding search easier and hopefully help you turn your idea into a financially successful project. You can get the book and also purchase the individual chapter on grant funding from musictank.co.uk and you can follow me on Twitter at Remy McHarris. Bye for now.